Hi and welcome. In this episode, we continue where we left off. We need to render flash messages and also have an ability to delete them. So let's add flash messages component into our app.js component. So right here, right after navigation bar, we're going to add flash messages and we're going to import it from flash messages. Right now we are in components, so I'm going to create a new folder for it as a flash and we call it flash messages list. Okay, so now we need to create it flash flash messages list. We're going to create two components, one for the list and one for the message itself. So right now we're in the list here and we're going to create component flash message list. And this is going to be a connected component because we need to get data from store. So I'm going to import here the connect function from React Redux. And we expect that this component will take messages. So let's do it right now. Flash messages list prop types be equal messages react prop types array and it is required. Okay, so now we need to pass this messages from the store to this component and we do it in a connect. So we have here connect function and inside of here we'll have maps state to props function. Inside of each map state to props we'll take the slice of our global state and we're going to return just flash messages. So we'll have messages, state, flash messages. And these flash messages are defined in our root reducer. So we're just taking only one very small and relevant part of our state. And now the component itself will have just a simple div that's going to render messages. And we're going to compose these messages as a simple constant. So we'll take messages from props, iterate through them with map. So we take message. And inside of here, we're going to use new component. We call it flash message component with a key of message.id. And we pass message to this component. OK, so now we need to add this flash message. So let's input it, flash message comes from flash message. So now let's define this flash message component, flash message.js. And it's also going to be class component. First of all, it's take one message and let's define this API right here. So we have flash message and we define prop types as one message to be react prop types object is required. So now we can deconstruct this message into separate uh, variables. We'll have ID type and text itself, this props message. And next we're going to use just a simple bootstrap alert boxes. So for this, and for this, of course, we need to use class names. So let's import class names from class names. And here we're going to have the class name equals class names and one that we provide every time this alert and then we'll have two for now just two conditional alert success which is going to be when we have type that it equals to success and alert danger when we have type which equals to error and inside of this div we go and just to render text. So very simple, almost presentational component, but we're going to add event handler to it as well. So let's try it out in the browser. I'm going to reload the page and sign up. So here I go, sign up, and we have our success message displayed to us. Nice. So the next step is to add delete functionality so user can get rid of this message. Of course, when we reload the page, we get rid of this flash message as well because we do not store them somewhere in the server. We just store them locally in the Redux store. But of course, we want to have ability to get rid of this flash message. So first of all, here, uh, before our text, let's add button with class name of close. 
and that's the bootstrap styling. Inside of it we'll have span and inside of the span we'll have times symbol. Let's save it and now you can see that we have this icon here. Excellent. So now we need to add the behavior. So we add on click, this on click, and as we add new function here, we need to define constructor so we can bind this on click as this on click bind this. Now let's define the on click itself. And as usual, our component will just dispatch some action that it has on its props. So we'll have this props delete flash message. And we pass just the this props message ID. Okay, so now we have this new function on the props. So let's go down here and add it here. Delete flash message. And instead of object, we'll have function. Okay, so now we need to pass this delete flash message into this component. So for that, we of course need to go back to our flash messages list. And inside of here, we also add delete flash message to be a function. And we pass it right here, delete flash message. And now we need to import it. So we import delete flash messages from actions flash messages. And the last thing that we need to do in this component is to pass it to the flash message component. So we'll have delete flash message equals delete flash message. Let's save it. So now we need to define this delete flash message in our flash messages action. So we do flash messages. And here it's almost the same. We have function delete flash message, which takes ID and it returns type of delete flash message and passes down ID. So we need to add here the delete flash message. So now we need to go back to types here and define this new constant, which we're going to have add we replace with delete. Okay. And the last step is to teach reducer to handle it. So we go back to reducer flash messages and we handle another case. So in this case, we have delete flash message and let's add it here as well. And what we're going to do, we're going to find message by its ID. And if it's found, then we create new state array by slicing it and excluding this uh, message from the array. So to find it, uh, we'll use find index from lodash find index. And now here, I will have this index constant, which is find index. And I'm searching through the state and I want to find ID with action ID. Then if index is greater than or equal to zero, we want to return new state. So we return an array and we'll take all array elements starting from the first one to the index and then all elements starting from the index plus one to the end of the array. And this way we exclude the found element. Otherwise we just can return state. So if nothing was found, because if nothing was found, index will be equal to minus one and that less than zero. And then we just return state. Okay. So we have everything in place. Let's save it and let's have a look. Okay, so let's try it out. We're going to sign up. I fill up the form, I sign up, I have this flash message. Now when I click it, oops, nothing happens. Well, I made another silly mistake. So if you go back to flash messages list right here, I just use delete flash message, but I, I haven't deconstructed it from props. So it should be this props delete flash message. So now it should work. Let's try it out again. So I submit, we have flash message. And now when we click on it, it disappears. Nice. And that's it. It works. So let's commit. 
It renders flash messages and allows to delete them. So this was our first encounter with Redux Actions creators and reducers. And as a side effect of this encounter, now we have flash messages system, which we can use from anywhere just by dispatching this add flash message action. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.